This is the long range or E plus Nissan Leaf in Australia. It has the new 62 kilowatt hour battery pack, but how healthy is that battery pack after 30,000 kilometers and two years? But if you listen to our armchair critics, this battery pack is meant to be dead after two years. I suppose this, this electric vehicle has led a lovely life. Um, that's the end of the line for it. Um, I suppose let's, let, let's just check out the battery pack. You never know. Welcome to EV for me. A brief history of this car first. Uh, a Japanese family bought this car two years ago in Nagoya and they had it for a little over 15 months and then disposed of it some, for, for some reason. Um, we bought it from a Japanese auction nine months ago and got it shipped across to Australia and we've been driving it ever since. So this car has just turned over two years old and it's traveled 30,000 kilometers or 18,000 miles. And while we've had it, we've traveled to uh, the Outback, Dubbo, all sorts of places. We've driven it around town. So let's see how it stood up to Japanese and Australian conditions. Um, and let's, uh, let's see how it's gone. Uh, let's check the battery out. The Nissan Leaf has two types of batteries. First of all, the 12 volt battery, and that's involved with the, the headlights, instrumentation, the radio, um, all those 12 volt systems. Um, it has nothing to do with the propulsion of the vehicle. And then we have the second battery, which is the drive battery. And that's the one that makes the vehicle move forward. And that battery is located underneath the car itself. It has 62 kilowatt hours of storage, um, but it doesn't use all of that. It only uses about 56 kilowatt hours because it leaves a buffer at the top of the battery and the bottom of the battery. So the battery doesn't sustain damage when you overcharge it or undercharge it. This battery consists of 288 lithium ion cells or roughly 96 battery modules and it roughly is 450 kilos in weight or a thousand pounds in the old money. The range of this vehicle with the 62 kilowatt hour battery is 360 k's in ideal conditions but more real world figures are around 300 kilometers. We analyze the drive battery on the Nissan Leaf with a little application on the iPhone called Leaf Spy. Leaf Spy connects to the car's computer via a little wireless dongle that connects into the Nissan Leaf just under the driver's steering wheel. This is the Leaf Spy information that matters, the battery cells page. Each of these columns represents a battery module which consists of three cells. So 96 modules with three cells each equals 288 cells in total in the drive battery. On the horizontal scale, we have the number of modules, which is 96, as stated before. The vertical scale is the module voltage, which is about 3.6 volts in this case. The state of health of this battery is 94.18%. Far from dead as our critics would have you believe. So this drive battery has degraded a little bit over 5% for two years and 30,000 kilometers, which is pretty good for a drive battery with no active cooling capabilities. So air just passes over the battery just to keep it cool. So how does this affect range? Because the battery is degraded by a little bit over 5%, we would have lost between 15, 20 kilometers from a car that's brand new. Traditionally, these drive batteries degrade quite quickly in the first five to 10% of their life. But after that, they degrade at a much slower rate over time. So in about six to seven years, our state of health of the battery could drop down to 80%, depending on how well we treat the battery. So even if this electric vehicle was 15 years old, and the state of health of the battery had dropped to 50%, it would give us a range of roughly 160 to 180 kilometers. And it's still a useful car. You can drive around town, go shopping, pick up the kids, whatever. 
but at the end of the day, you don't have to replace that drive battery. Other information on this page, this EV has 67 quick charges, which over a long time might cause heat stress and degrade the battery quicker. Also, the EV has had 226 slow charges, which is a little less stressful on the battery. The number here in the top right is the difference between the lowest and the highest module voltage. So in this case, it is 15 millivolts. So this drive battery is well balanced. Anything under 30 millivolts is pretty good. Let's say you had a difference of 322 millivolts, your drive battery has big problems. One last tip, everyone wants a warranty with their electric vehicle drive battery. Here's a better idea. Why don't you get a leaf spy report and then you can actually see the numbers for yourself and make your own judgment. It only makes sense. So, as usual, our armchair critics were wrong and there's nothing wrong with our electric vehicle battery after two years and 30,000 kilometers. If you want to follow our adventures, go to our Twitter page, ev for me 2 Check that out. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell when you want to know when a new vlog is uploaded. And we'll see you next time. That looks good? Okay. Yes, you can piss off. Are you right? Okay. Yep. Yeah.